that. That's why when I go to sleep, I face the way the door is. Not, not is this just going to make me cry. I've got like the biggest goosebumps you could ever have. If that was happening to you, how terrifying would that be? Simply can't explain something that is downright creepy. Downright chilly, mate. videos spooky spooky videos okay it's working reports of obs playing up not recording audio yeah I recorded a whole video yesterday and there was no audio what's going on guys mr here hope you're staying happy healthy and hydrated and welcome back to another spooky video mate yeah that's right another spooky one i actually got myself some earphones because i feel like headphones kind of restrict me you know i feel like earphones might be a little bit more freedom might be a bit more free so yeah, anyway, we're going to be watching a spooky video, okay? Be, 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 be prepared for the ultimate scares. We're going to be watching a video from Nukes Top 5. One of the favorites on this channel, one of my favorites too. Go and check him out, okay? Subscribe to him. He's got some fantastic stuff. The video we're going to be watching is called 10 Scary Videos to Cry Yourself to Sleep To. So uh, yeah, once again, be pre prepared because we're about to get fucking scared. Anyway, Nuke Stop 5, here we go. Stay hydrated. Top 5 Urban ghosts. explorers from the YouTube channel Urbex Castronautica visit the historic La Plata Cemetery in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Mm. The cemetery was built in 1886 and is the final resting place of many notable figures. But while wandering through the huge cemetery's 12,000 tombs and vaults, the guys stumble upon a crypt that has been vandalized. Their camera captures something downright chilling. Ooh. Oh, hold on now. I gotta have a look at that though. Look at that. I'm sorry for pausing, but isn't this just interesting to you? Like, look at this. This almost looks like some sort of locked box with a handle for carrying. And what are these? Are they the handles on the side of coffins? That... Okay. Anyway, let's continue. The, the, cool. Let's go. I'm so excited. <laughs> so unfortunate that people have vandalized it. What a drop. Wait, hot. Is the top of this one broken open? Can you see your body in there? I think you might. Is that, what is that? No. Did you see it? I think so. No? Well, neither did the guys who filmed it. You see, after posting this video to YouTube, their sharp-eyed viewers were freaked out when they noticed a creepy little pale hand pulling <laughs> back into an open coffin. My now, it happened so quick that it's hard to see without brightening the footage and analyzing it frame by frame. But when the footage is converted to a negative image, the spooky little hand is a bit easier to see. Okay, hold on, hold on. I don't want to ruin the spooks, but look, if you go frame by frame, it does look a little shaky once it's going in. Look, like it has a... So it could be edited in using masking and they've messed up one of the keyframes. I'm just saying, but still, regardless, that is terrifying. That's terrible. Not good. <laughs> anyway, let's continue. What do you think of that? Now, it's very unlikely that anyone could have crawled into that coffin to fake this. Why this would they? It's very old and unstable, and it would be very dangerous for someone to just climb inside. So did this group of urban explorers accidentally capture proof of the paranormal? Well, as usual, you decide. You already know, no. You already know I'm not deciding. All these videos leave it up to me, and then I, in turn, leave it up to you. So if you have a take, let me know and let Nuke know. Cause I don't know. How would they know? They'll never know. Yeah, that was really weird. I'm sorry. Anyway, let's go. Open house. Here we Ready go. User slash realtor Sandra is recording a tour of a 1960s bungalow style home to show prospective buyers. Sandra's filming at night in order to showcase the house's interior lighting. But it's starting to get a bit late at the creepy little cottage. And things are about to get weird. Wow, it's 10 p.m. and my day was fully booked with showings of this beautiful vintage 1962. It's like me recording my intros. Oh 
got this. Wow, it's 10 p.m. <laughs> and my day was fully booked with showings of this vintage 1963 bungalow. Her reaction seemed genuine. She's waiting for someone to walk in. She doesn't know. Wow. <laughs> No footsteps in this little loud echo. Oh, she's a believer. No she, knows. she knows it's not a person. That's a solid door, too. Oh, you Let's want me to? You the other one. Go on. Do it. Come on, just move a glass or something. Oh, that's spooky, isn't it? Look at that. Go ahead, do it again. I'm not scared. Are you sure about that? Yes, Cheryl Ann, remember when you said you weren't scared? <laughs> I don't know if that's her name. I don't even know if they said her name. Uh, the beeping at first jump scared me because I was so hyper focused on just waiting for something to happen. And then it happened when I didn't expect it, even though I was expecting it. You know what I mean? Oh, you're not scared? It's not right. Well, check this out. <laughs> it's not so funny, is it? The door suddenly swings open on its own and Sandra is spooked. But she gathers her courage and rushes out to see what's going on. A glass of water <laughs> sitting on top of the fireplace shifts they and hydrated. slowly moves as if it's being pushed by some invisible force. But things get even crazier as a smoke detector suddenly starts to beep before crashing violently to the floor. With that, Sandra has had enough and just gets out of there. But there's also something else that is very creepy in this video. Sandra. Something that only a few viewers even notice. What? So again, I ask, did you see it? No. Right before the door moves, a face in the picture right beside Sandra seems to slowly darken. Ooh. And then the creepy little shadow fades away just as the door swings open. Sandra Ooh. says that she's experienced several unexplained paranormal events in this home. But this was the first time that she finally captured it on camera. Yeah, that's weird, isn't it? I mean, if this is a vintage place, are they the original photos? I'd assume so, unless they just put them up for decoration somehow. But if they are the original photos of like the previous owners or the previous owners, family members before them or something, why have they not taken them? You know, there's no furniture in this house. So why are the beloved family photos? still up there is it a deceased estate like what was going on yeah i've never seen like something do that and the reason this is more believable to me too is because out of all the spooky videos i've seen a lot by the way i've never seen someone go for like a 
editing of the family portrait face slightly going darker in the background where you barely notice. Usually it's just typical stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and say that Sandra has probably captured something. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. What do you think? Let me know. Trapped. In this next video, a man is taking a short video of a car that he's planning to sell. The vehicle belonged to his sister, who tragically passed away right inside the car over a year and a half ago. Oh man. After sending the footage to a potential buyer, he gets an alarming message saying he should really check the video closer. Hey man, here's this, uh, here's my sister's car. Just wanted to make this video so you could have a look at it. She still runs good. Oh, she's a little dirty. She has a lot of miles on her. But I... Uh, his sister was attacked and she passed away in this car. Oh, mate. Oh. Look at that. Oh, man, I've got goosebumps everywhere. I mean, I'm basically a goose right now. Gosh, that's terrifying. That's terrible. Even if this is fake, like... That's just not, that's just bad, man. It can clean up nice. Here's the front. And a little back. He tried selling it until he got this video back and he could hear her crying. But, I don't know. Uh, if you're interested, just uh, let me know what you think. Throughout the footage, the faint sound of a woman crying can be heard. The video was shared online by Dee's Dark Adventures and quickly gained nearly 500,000 views. In the video comments, many concerned viewers believe that the voice belongs to the spirit of the man's sister who passed away inside the car. That's sad, man. Here we go, I'll read out some of the comments for you. My wife died in a comment. <laughs> My wife died in a car accident three months ago. I drove by where the wreck happened same day. As I was driving home back from the accident, I felt her in the car. She was telling me everything was going to be okay. <sighs> That's deep, man. Truth behind the lie says, get in that car. Tell her she has passed. She doesn't know this. Her soul is trapped. Tell her to go to God. Thanks for sharing her. I hear her. She is strong. Man, all this stuff is giving me big goosebumps. Like, look at that. <sighs> Her spirit needs to be acknowledged and guided to where she needs to be. So sad. She's still reliving her tragedy and trapped. Not not is this just going to make me cry. I've got like the biggest goosebumps you could ever have. Right, let's go next. What do we got? Follower. Nick Perry says that late one night he was driving down the allegedly haunted Dyers Lane Road in Roseville, California. He says that he saw an ominous dark shadow figure appear in the middle of the road. Nick believes that this dark entity followed him home and says that he now experiences terrifying paranormal activity. So back in 2022, I shared Nick's story on Nuke's Top 5, along with some of the scary footage that he had captured. two years since those videos were recorded, Nick Perry has moved to a new house in a new city, but nice. he believes that the dark entity has followed him. I just got home and uh, as I was walking in, I heard some banging noises in here. So that's why I'm setting up the camera right now to find out you know, who the f it is. Max, shut up. There's nobody here. Oh, there is a shadow there. Look at that. What is that? Okay. Oh, now it's up against the fucking wall. What is it, Max? Nick decides to leave several cameras recording when he's away from home. When he reviews his footage, he is shocked. Shocked, mate. I'll just go ahead and say that's a nice house you probably don't want to be banging up your nice wooden doors and scratching your fridge handle so i wouldn't do that on purpose why 
Why go so aggressive? It's like, yeah, I want a snack. Fucking bang. Oh, what's in the cupboard here? Fucking, oh. Calm down, mate. You just open it normally, right? I mean, I can't stop you from living here. So I might as well just treat it the same way I do, mate. Stop. Conversations between Australians and ghosts would just be weird, wouldn't it? It would be funny. It's like a little kid. So I run down the hallway. He's reached out to several churches and religious authorities, but no one has helped him. As of today, Nick says that he continues to experience paranormal events in and around his home. He shares his dark experiences over on his YouTube channel. The Hooker. That's a bit of a weird name for his YouTube channel, is it? The Hooker. What does he do for work? Is he like a fisherman or... A fisherman. <laughs> motorcycle mystery. <sighs> motorcycle mystery. Here we go. A guy in the Oro in the Philippines, a motorcycle rider is driving down a busy road that is notorious for being the site of many fatal accidents. Great idea. You probably shouldn't do that. He is about to experience something that is truly bizarre. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie, that almost happened to me a few weeks ago. I was just crossing the road. It was like five in the morning, okay? Sun's just coming up. I was going across to the shop to get a sausage roll, right? We have this bend. And for some reason, people think, yeah, that's great. It's early in the morning. No one's gonna be crossing. I love speeding on this straight. And I was stunned because of how fast it was coming towards me. I was like a deer, man. I didn't know if like, do I continue? Do I run backwards? Like, how do I get out of this situation? I almost got hit. Anyway. Someone appears to jump right into the motorcycle's path, but when the rider looks back, there's no one there. But it gets even weirder, because the motorcycle rider claims that whoever this was, they didn't appear to have a face, only a strange dark- Have they, they like upscaled this with AI or something? I think they have, yeah. That is strange, isn't it? Look, no face at all, nothing. Blur. Now, many locals believe that the writer saw the ghost of someone who passed away on the dangerous road. But if this wasn't anything supernatural, then just what happened here? Let me know what you think. I feel like, could it be possible that people who have died on that road are really trying to give people some sort of warning? This biker going pretty fast get something that jumps out in front of him. This guy could have had a crash just by trying to swerve and miss the human. It's just like a warning, like, better slow the fuck down next time because this could happen. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, man. Flicker. Flicker. Reddit user Sibseb says that his mother is taking care of a young foster child at her home in England. One night, a TV is playing a cartoon in the child's bedroom, but the flickering light from the screen reveals something that the Reddit user and his mom simply can't explain. Something that is downright creepy. Downright chilly, mate. Oh, you eyeless. I'm not going to say anything else. Someone seems to be seated in the chair. Baby. A small pale face illuminates in the flashing light from the TV screen. Then the face just disappears. Reddit user Sibseb wonders if his mother's security camera accidentally captured a paranormal presence. But what do you think this is? Fun to like. I don't know, that was a quick clip. It's definitely strange. I don't know though. What's this one called? UFO. Fond du Lac. Around 2 a.m., Flores Abanale and her family friends are driving home to Fond du Lac, Saskatchewan, Canada. Suddenly, Florissa spots something very odd in the night sky. Mm. It, should, it looks like a me? UFO, right? That's a UFO. I'm just, yeah. It should just stay right there. Look, it's just above there. Oh, I okay, these lights here is just a reflection of like, you know, inside of the car, all the little stereo dials and knobs and buttons and whatnot. This is what we're looking at, okay. Are you recording it? Yeah. 
Yeah? That's a UFO! You can just see it! <laughs> well, hi, you know. <laughs> Bro, you can just see it. It's like the round Just keep thing. recording then! It's a little YouTube It won't take spikes. Everyone is shocked as they witness a strange circular object with flashing lights soaring through the sky. Larissa's mother posted the video to Facebook and friends and local residents immediately began to respond that they too have seen the strange UFO. Eyewitness reports in the thread go all the way back to January 1990. Wow. So just what could this mysterious flying object be? I mean, I'm not surprised by the reports going back to like way then, way back then, because there's reports constantly every day about things from way before that as well. But there's like particular places where there's a lot more reports. Now, I don't know if because there's a lot more reports, there's a lot more believers because of the reports and then they report it themselves or if certain areas just tend to have more activity. It seems to be that certain areas have more activity to me at least. But I mean, it's really hard to tell what that is, isn't Let it? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Because it's even though it's not a clear video, it's it's clear that that's something with bright lights and it's flashing. It doesn't look like a plane though, but what other kind of craft could that be? I don't know, let me know what you think. Yeah, cool, interesting. Mimic. Mimic. Oh. Leandro from Buenos Aires, Argentina says that he began to experience strange unexplained events only weeks after moving into his new home. Mm. He says that he would often discover that many of his belongings had been inexplicably moved into the house's bathroom. Leandro installed a security camera to see what's been going on. Uh, but late one night, he captures something more than he bargained for. Oh, okay. Don't tell me the blanket comes flying off. Oh, fuck that. That's why when I go to sleep, I face the way the door is. Okay. If I go to get up and run, I'm already looking that way. Don't roll over. It's bad. It's not good for you. <laughs> Doesn't that just freak you out though? Like being faced the other way from door. Mate, I'm just an extremely paranoid person, okay? Yeah, that's right. Flashlight will save you, won't it? Jim. Oh, was that the outside? Got a door to your backyard behind you as well. Are you fucking nuts? Fuck that. Leandro is completely unnerved by the strange paranormal experience. He decides to check into the history of his new home for answers. He is horrified when he discovers that in the 1950s, a family of four passed away in a tragic fire on the very same land where his house now sits. Oh man. Another night and Leandro has his friend Daniel over. And once again, it goes sideways. <laughs> All right. Oh, you fucker. Look at that. What are you doing? Is it just the backyard too? Also, I've got to point something out before all that crazy shit went sideways. Check out whatever's hangling, ha hangling, hangling, whatever's hangling be dangling off of this key holder. I think it might be keys. Look, they're actually moving. Actually, like slightly jiggling. Oh, boom, scared the shit out of you. In your puma box. A mysterious white figure can be seen passing by the window just outside Leandro's home. Then the items sitting on the nightstand get launched into the air by an invisible force. And Leandro and his friend Daniel jump up in shock. And now this is when things get really strange. Because Leandro claims that after this incident, the spirit that haunts his house actually began to imitate or mimic the sound of his friend Daniel's voice. Son las tres de la mañana de nuevo. Esto es lo que yo, con lo que yo convivo desde hace meses. Con esto yo convivo hace meses. Siempre que grabo. Vos no sos Daniel. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Vos no sos Daniel, esa no es tu voz. Daniel se fue hace meses del país. Vos no sos Daniel. Si querés lastimarme, 
Salí, lastimame ahora. Ya. Déjame de joder. No, thanks. Déjame de joder. Daniel in the bathroom. Yo si no puedo vivir. Ya no puedo vivir así. Ya no puedo vivir. Yo no tengo más miedo. No tengo más miedo. Oh, this is the stuff I like. Oh, yo si no puedo vivir. Si no puedo seguir. Leandro says that he's had more than enough of the strange supernatural activity in his new home. But is it real? Or is it all just an el elaborate hoax? Elaborate hoax. You decide. Footprint. I don't know. Very, 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 very weird. Okay. That's all I'll say. Now. It is a little bit over the top with the, the door handle and Daniel in the bathroom, like fucking help. I'm your friend. Help, help, please. I'm your friend. I promise. Fuck off, Daniel. Listen, I don't know if it's real, but all I've got to say is if that was happening to you, how terrifying would that be? Even if it's not real, just the thought, terrifying. So yeah, good clip. Great clip. Love it. Let's go. Footprints number two. Prince. Here we go. A woman named Kat lives in a remote area near the woods in Pennsylvania. One freezing what? cold morning around 4 a.m., Kat wakes up to find a light dusting of snow covering the ground outside. But then she notices something just outside her back door. Something truly disturbing. Good morning, guys. It is literally 5 a.m. And I opened the back door to put some dry food out for the stray kitties. And there are people feet printed all over my deck in the snow. People feet. Do you see this? Yeah. They start over there. And it like barefoot walks up to the table. There's nothing coming up to the... Maybe there is something coming up to the door. What? And I don't see any in the yard. What like, is why this? Not on the yard. I see them kind of coming out of the flower bed. They stop there. I thought maybe they would have walked off through that flower bed, but I don't see anything there. It's like one straight line from out in the yard up to the door, turned around towards the table, and then just stopped moving. That one has like what? That could have just been the same foot and then a, a slight rotation, although the heel is the same. I'm, I'm just saying. Two, three, four, like six toes. That's six toes. So is that one. One, two, three, four, five. It is 16 degrees out. I have not gone outside yet. My cat came and woke me up hysterical, probably because there was some barefoot person on the deck. I'm just more concerned about like a mental health crisis because there's no reason to be out there barefoot. Now, for obvious reasons, Cat is a bit freaked out, but she's also worried that someone might be experiencing a mental health crisis and is wandering around in the freezing cold with no shoes. Yeah. She calls the police, but she's reassured that no one has been reported missing or lost and there have been no reports of trespassers or break-ins in the area. Kat is concerned, but she's done all she can, and she just lets it go. Guess we'll never know. But almost two weeks later, the mysterious footprints are back. Okay. <sighs> the, the sound effect, this one? Are back. Okay. I don't know why that jump scared me for some reason. Are back. Okay. Morning footprint update. All right. <clears throat> Let me show you. This is okay. the first time we've had snow since the initial footprint sighting. Do you see that? Yeah. They're barefoot again. Yeah. They're in a different spot than... <clears throat> Look at my shadow. So those prints are in a different spot than when we had prints before. Let's go downstairs. It is seven o'clock. Uh, I've been up since 4.30. I didn't look outside. I just came up here and then I opened the window to see if any of the stray cats were coming up to the door yet because I didn't feed them yet. What you need to do, you need to set up a little camera, okay? I know why I'm completely against cameras in every video. I fucking hate them, man. They're just, yeah, I don't want to see stuff that I'm not going to see with my own eyes. If, if it's on a camera, that's fine. Stay on the camera. I don't want to see it. But 
you need to set up a little little camera secretly somewhere so you can catch this thing whatever it is Dragged Stay right once. along the side so I don't interfere. Those are definitely very bare human feet, but there are not six toes on these that I can tell. I don't know. No, though those are very clear toes right there. So the house next door has nobody living in it, so I'm not sure why the prince would be coming from that deck. Happy New Year. Cat purchased two security cameras to monitor the outside of her home, but the mysterious barefoot stranger hasn't returned yet. So could this be something supernatural or is it something even scarier? A real person creeping around Cat's house in the middle of the night. Yeah, uh, if, it, if it was a real person, I think that would be creepier. I know I'm not saying ghosts and spooky stuff, paranormal stuff isn't creepy. It is because we don't know about it that much, but I'm just saying, humans are more dangerous so yeah that's spooky either way spooky okay don't want anyone walking on your deck <clears throat> number one heads up heads up here we Popular go Popular chinese ghost hunter xiao long is back this time investigating an abandoned school in china that is said to be extremely haunted as his live stream audience watches xiao long begins to hear unexplained noises from somewhere in the building he's a little on edge as he goes to check out the strange sounds. Mm. What happens next is... Just watch. Okay. Why do people get aggressive <laughs> when they're <laughs> scared? I mean, I guess it is being scared is kind of like you just took as your defense mechanism, but you saw it wasn't it, you were in no harm, Xiaolong. <laughs> Xiaolong gets the fright of his life because of a plastic statue head. But luckily Xiaolong delivers a good old fashioned slap upside the head to put that statue back in line. Yeah. But things fuck statues, man. I hate those things. <laughs> statue back in line. But things are about to get a bit more serious and a bit more frightening. Oh yeah. As Xiaolong explores deeper into the haunted school, this happens. What are those breaths? Did he just tackle that ball? Oh. The Johnny aggressiveness Warren. is oh, funny. No, <laughs> Okay, that's a little bit dangerous. Look up. Oh, okay. The ceiling is intact. No one's throwing stuff through floorboards or anything, so. A small ball inside a classroom rolls across the floor by itself. So Xiaolong chucks it out a window, but then the lights hanging from the ceiling come crashing down, almost hitting Xiaolong. Now, luckily the ghost hunter made it out safe, but he's not done just yet. 
Inside one of the school's many rooms, he finds a dirty old mirror. Nice. And this is when his exploration takes a terrifying turn. He gets sucked into it because it's an open portal and he was never found again. Oh! <laughs> Break the mirror now. Yeah, go on, kick it a day. Uh. What's your name? What's up? Uh, people have corrected me before because I've, been, I've, I've asked multiple times in these videos like why do certain countries like completely just swear and just abuse <laughs> these ghosts but apparently that's that's just a thing I just I <laughs> F your mom F your mom hey this is spaghetti Sorry, that's why I'm laughing at it. I can't help it. I'm sorry. It's scary, yes. <laughs> Is this not funny to you? I'm sorry. What's wrong with you, Don't break the mirror. You monica bee. <laughs> Face looking through window? Oh yeah. <laughs> If that's not planned and these things are actually falling down, that is dangerous. In the mirror's reflection, someone can be seen standing behind Xiao Long. But when he swings around in terror, there's no one there. After an attempt at kicking and flailing at the invisible entity, Xiao Long finds that the reflection of the figure has disappeared. But now he spots a shadowy face peeking in from a window and the heavy closet comes crashing down right in front of him. The activity is becoming a little too intense. So Xiao Long decides to leave and ends his live stream. You can see even more terrifying moments from this ghost hunt over on the YouTube channel, Outdoor Xiao Long. Let me know what you think of those. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to let me know down below and we'll continue making these. We're gonna anyway, but it's just nice to know that you guys enjoyed it. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, that was the video. 10 scary ghost videos to cry yourself to sleep to. I really enjoyed it. It was fun right from the start to the finish. Nuke's top five always has some interesting stuff. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Stay happy, healthy, and hydrated. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.